Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at my settings here in Black Ops Cold War. You guys request this a lot in the comment section on Twitter, on Twitch. You guys just ask for this video a lot and today we got y'all. We got y'all with the new settings. There's a few things that I've been running new and you guys are going to like. It's going to help you improve without a doubt. So if you are new to my channel, you'll have the best class stuffs and the craziest gameplays and the best settings. Make sure that subscribe button is with that bell so you guys don't miss any brand new videos. Let's get 250 likes for today's video and let's get straight into the settings. All right, so we're here with our graphic settings. Now, there's not too many things I want to go over here. You know, I know people like to have their own you know stuff about their computer and stuff if you play computer or if you play console there's only one setting that i recommend you guys changing is if you go to display and go to field of view and change it to 120 and put it on affected it's going to help you see a lot easier you're going to be zoomed out see a lot more of what's going on in the map it's definitely going to help you improve without a doubt playing on affected 120 field of view has made me a lot better and it feels like I move a lot faster That's why you see people in my comment section say how are you running so fast? This is what it is. It's just that 120 field of view with affected That's all I run here And that's the only thing I want to show you here on the graphic settings now It's time to go ahead and get to the main stuff which can be our audio and controller settings all right, so this next part is our audio settings. We're gonna be talking about like what I like to run. I do have a mix amp and you know, as my headset, I have the Astro A40s. So I have my master volume at 80%. That's really not too much. I have the music volume all the way down. Now there's this one thing I do wanna talk about here is the uh, hit marker sound. I have it on and I have the classic effect on. So it sounds a lot different from other people you can have a default or you can have classic now that's really the only thing i have for audio now it's time to get into the most important things here which is the controller settings all right so now it's time to get into the most important thing is the controller settings now i know a lot of people play mouse and keyboard and i know a lot of people play controller i do play controller if anybody was going to wonder that but a lot of my stuff has changed from you know the last few settings videos our horizontal and our vertical sensitivity has changed it used to be at eight but now it's at 10. now i wanted to up it just a little bit just to move around faster you know maybe if i want to turn on someone and you know drop shot them if they're behind me you know quickly look behind myself way faster you know get you know just be able to look around faster and be able to clear rooms out faster just you know snapping on people faster and stuff like that it's gonna be very helpful now the next thing is we're gonna be talking about is our ads and our low and high zoom ads stick sensitivity i have at 0.6 now that was at 0.8 and we lowered it a little bit so i have hired my sensitivity my original sensitivity but when aiming down sight, I have lowered it. So it could be an optics of any sort, or it can be my iron sights. It has lowered. So when I'm aiming down sight, I move a lot slower. So when I'm seeing my targets, I can track them. I could be way more accurate and I can actually see who I'm firing at. So having this on, you're gonna be able to control your shots a lot easier track your targets a lot easier and this should help you perform a lot better without a doubt i used not to change this stuff i used to actually hire it but like you know make it increase it higher like the 1.23 1.6 and stuff in older cods but when i started realizing how important this stuff is lowering it is actually going to help your accuracy go up and it's going to help you get a lot more kills because you're able to track your targets and perform a lot better so i'm having this on so it's gonna be very helpful for you guys to try out now the next main thing is we're gonna be taking a look is our button layout i do run a battle beaver as you guys see here just a battle beaver it has you know it's kind of like a scuff as you see here it has there's paddles or there is you know these little buttons here on the back it's the same thing technically but i have this on default but i have my buttons and paddles remap so you know one jumps and one slides and crouches so having that on it does help you perform a lot better because you don't have to take your thumbs off x or you know anything or your analog stick so having that on or having these controllers does help and pr perform performance you are going to get a lot more kills because you don't really have to take your thumbs off anything you just use your fingers so that is very helpful now we're going to skip a few of these things and go down to our aim response curve type which we have at dynamic now i've seen a lot more pros use the dynamic because it is a lot easier you know the it has a faster initial response time it's way more smoother and this is just what a lot of pros use now if you are not the best and you're still trying to get a little bit better at the game before going too crazy you can try linear or standard 
linear is going to help you have it's more of like a sticky type directly aim so it's going to help you aim and like help you get kills in a way it's kind of like a little aim by if you guys know it does help with a little bit of aim but the dynamic is really fast on response type and it's just very helpful for you guys to try out so definitely try dynamic if you're really trying to get a lot better so keep that in mind now the trigger haptics i have disabled this is more for ps5s so if you are on a ps5 controller if you play on ps5 or whatnot disable this all right i'm saving you now just disable it you don't need it all right you don't want it on just disable it all right now we're going to skip a few of these things and go down to our target aim assist you want to have this on enabled our tar uh, target aim assist mode is standard i don't have it on legacy i don't have it on precision or focusing Focusing is more of like a Warzone Modern Warfare type. Just throw on standard. You don't need anything special about this. Just standard aim assist is way better than these other things. I guarantee you guys, just if you try the other ones out, let me know which one you think is better and why if you guys use something else. Standard is all you need. I promise you guys that. Standard is all you need. Now we have ADS aim assist is enabled. You Of course, you want aim assist on all of your stuff. Unless you play mouse and keyboard, you don't need it. But if you scroll down here a little bit more, we're going to go to our stick layout, which is disabled default. And we have the ADS stick swap is disabled. You don't need that on or anything else. Now, the left stick minimum input threshold. I was talking about this before I messed up on my video. So this is my second go. Um, basically, what this is going to do is it's not going to make your controller. You don't want to make your controller work hard. You know what I'm saying is like pressing down on your controller hard and, you know, just keep pressing the buttons and wearing your controller out. So what the minimum thresh put, uh, minimum input threshold is basically having this on zero. You don't have to put that much power into your thumbs or anything. A gust of wind could move your controller and make it run and stuff like that. That's how sensitive your analog sticks are going to be now. So you don't have to go through controllers and keep buying them because back in Modern Warfare and other CODs, you know, pressing down on your controllers nonstop, nonstop. Even I only play three hours a day and my controllers, you know, used to wear out pretty quickly. But now having this stuff on, I've had this controller for eight, nine months now. And, you know, I still haven't had any problems with it. It's still perfect. It feels new. And having this on does help you out a lot and it's going to save you a lot more money. So make sure to have this on. The maximum threshold input is going to be 99. Our right stick minimum input, this is going to be like for aiming and, you know, just tracking your targets. This can be at 7. Now, this is like the hot spot for this game, I would say. A lot of pros use this. Now, what this is going to help is, again, you don't want to put too much power on your analog sticks. You don't want to wear them out. So what this does is going to make it where it's easier to aim. But then again, it's not as hard because if I put this on zero, it's going to look like I have drift and it's going to look like my controller is broken. But having this on seven, you know, seven, eight or nine or ten, somewhere in that hot spot area, it's going to be perfect. Our aim is going to be nice and it's just we're going to have aimbot technically because how easy our controller is to, you know, just sensitive, how sensitive it's going to be. And it's going to be a lot easier to track your targets and you don't have to put that much power into your thumbs when using the analog stick so having this on is very helpful and our maximum input threshold is 99 now the main thing and the last thing i want to talk about is our trigger dead zone sensitivity which is going to be 0.01 now like i said with the threshold inputs and everything like that having this on the very minimum thing you can possibly do is going to make your triggers more sensitive so again to make your controller not you know be wear out faster and make it broken you barely have to put power into putting your like you can barely tap these and they'll aim down sight and fire that's how easy it is and this is stuff that helps you with faster response times and you know you can actually if you're playing hardcore or something you can barely tap the controller and it'll fire and you kill someone with one bullet like that's how easy it can be to get a kill you know having this stuff on all this stuff here on the bottom with the advanced stuff definitely is going to help you save money it's definitely going to help you save controllers and it's very cool to have because if this stuff wasn't here on like Modern Warfare or in this game, with how much I have grinded in the past, I'd have already went through like seven or eight controllers, guaranteed. But having this stuff on, I have saved a lot more money. I haven't went through a lot of controllers, and you know it's very helpful. But guys, that is my settings for Black Ops Cold War for season five. You know, season six is not too long away. We got about 38 days. We have reloaded coming, and you know we'll probably bring another setting video here later or sooner than that. So you never know. But anyways, guys, I had to bring this video for you guys so y'all can. 
you know update y'all settings get better at the game go crazy get a lot more kills and have fun but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for me thank you guys so much for watching today's video and that's gonna see it for me peace